four down, two to go. And of course, we usually have this problem, water in the gas. You can see the two different consistencies. The bowl's not too clean, jet isn't too clean, and I'm going to have to blow that and poke out that two tiny little holes in here to get them clear. Shook the water out of the gas tank, and now i got to blow through the fuel line while it's apart, get more water and crap out of it, and then we'll see if it's going to start. Okay, I took my little piece of wiggly wire brush wire and grabbed it in those pliers and worked it in and out of that jet hole many, many times. The wiggly wire helps clean the sides of the hole better than a straight wire. If you have a Tecumseh or a Briggs lawnmower, the jet hole can be in the side of the nut or it can be in the middle. And it may have two, it may even have a smaller one near the threads. Uh, if, if it stalls on you every time you start it and prime it, and consistently does that until it's warmed up, you may have to really work that hole over and over again really good to get it open because they look clean and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're so lean set from the factory that I get a sharp narrow pin. Of course the pin's a little thicker than a wire like that. I grind a little chisel edge on it and I put a few scratches in the little hole and that opens the jet up a tiny bit more. But then you're guaranteed you can get them running consistently without dying every time you try to start them. It's drenched. I just opened the oil cap and it just came gushing out like it was overfilled but it was actually gassy oil. This is a common problem with gas tanks that are higher than the carbs if the needle and seat leaks. The water seeps in, I mean the gas seeps through the carburetor system, goes past the intake valve when it's not running, goes through the cylinder past the rings and the piston and seeps into the oil and raises your oil level up. Of course if you don't know this and you actually get it running you can ruin your engine because gassy oil doesn't lubricate well. So whenever you see that you'll have to dry your plug off or change it, pull it many times with a spark plug out to dry out the cylinder, take your carb apart and clean it or replace the needle and seat or check if the float is bad. You know they sometimes get crushed by ice or the seal leaks on the solder on them and they get gas inside so they don't float all the way. You can check those ones by shaking them and listening for sloshing. Then just add new oil and good luck. I just dumped all the contents out into my recycle container. Okay, ready for first attempt to start. Got gas and oil. So long as that carb isn't still leaking. And it is. Blowing lots of gas out. Well, we gotta fix a needle and seat, unfortunately. Oh well. I hate the cumsies. Now I've removed the carburetor, and I'll show you my little trick to helping fix up leaky seats. In the bottom of the little hole where the needle goes in is a little rubber seal with a hole in it that the needle seals against. So I take an ordinary small Phillips screwdriver, it has about the same angle of point as a needle, and I just stick it in that hole and very gently just work it back and forth like a drill, hardly even pressing in the needle hole. Then I blow it through the tube and blow it the other way and it often fixes it. There's sometimes just a hair in there or a little piece of like varnished gas. And I always make sure the tip of the needle is clean and no corrosion edges on it or anything before I put it back in and I rub my fingers on it just to remove any varnish that might be on it. Then I check the float level and of course having the little tab that sits on parallel is the right setting. Try two. Hope it's not still leaking. Well, she must still be leaking. Another screwed up carb, or maybe I'll just change the needle and seat. Oh well. 
Well, just got done looking at the last one in the group that I garbage picked. And it's that Quantum 4.5 XE. It had a loose pull cover. Someone, I guess, forgot to tighten the screws. Low oil. Broken throttle cable, which I haven't changed yet. Uh, old gas, water in the gas, and a clogged main jet in the carburetor. So, let's see if that's all that was wrong with it. We'll try her out. Another good one. Now I just got to fix minor details on some of those other ones. And then back to the main pile. <laughs> 